Minneapolis starts another violent year, a start another violent start to the year for young Hoosiers. The first three homicides of the year have all been teenagers, and Fox 59's Eric Graves talks to the creator about what he hopes this means for the city and its kids. It's an attempt to give more than 100 teenage boys and their families something safe to do every Saturday. It might look like just basketball, but it's about so much more. Lay up line with me. A new youth sports league is coming to town, and Kareem Hines is looking for players. 42 consecutive weeks of youth and family engagement, um, and we're using sports as a catalyst. The Playing for Peace Youth Sports Fellowship and Community Service Project kicks off later this month. Ready, go! Ha! Over the next several months, ha! there will be basketball, football, martial arts, Let's community go! service, and more for kids 10 to 17. Kareem will take any boy from anywhere in Indianapolis. East side, west side, north side, south side. With the state of our community right now, uh, we don't even want to limit the number of kids. The funding for the sports league comes from a $100,000 anti-violence grant that Heinz got for his youth mentoring group New Boy. Two claps. Some of the New Boy kids got together Friday to play some ball and talk about the league. I'm excited about um, being on a team with a mentor program like I've never been on a team with a mentor program. Each Saturday there will be food, prizes, even a DJ, all for free. Hines says the coaches and mentors will also be working with the kids to keep them on track in the classroom. We're going to be monitoring kids in school, so there'll be a progress report that these kids will bring with them every week. But the league just isn't for the kids playing, it's for their parents and families too. We want to support. Because parents are doing what they're supposed to do with their kids. They just need a little extra support. Hines says each Saturday there will be resources for parents. He wants moms, dads, grandparents not to see this as a daycare, but a safe event for the whole family, especially as we see youth violence so prevalent in the beginning of 2023. If you engage these young men and make them a part of our family, we will bust our behinds to make sure that we save them. There are going to be two registration Saturdays coming up at the end of January where boys will get a chance to shoot some hoops as they sign up. We'll have that information on our website. Reporting in Indianapolis, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News. Eric, thank you. One person was taken to the hospital.